أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسول يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تعمتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون صدق الله العظيم I seek refuge with Allah from Satan the rejected in the name of Allah, who is most gracious, most merciful. Alhamdulillah, once again, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sparing our lives and giving us the health and strength and the opportunity of coming out for our Juma Salah. All praise and gratitude is due to Allah. We thank Him and we glorify Him. We seek His aid and His forgiveness. And for all our needs, we rely solely on him. We seek the protection of Allah to avoid the temptations of our evil soul and to be safe from the harm of our wrongdoing. To whom Allah shows the right way, nobody can mislead him. Oh, and whom he leads astray, none can bring back to it. We bear witness that there is none worthy of worship but Allah. And we bear witness that Muhammad, upon whom be peace is his servant and messenger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his angels send blessings on our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Therefore, O oh believers, you too should send your blessings on him with reverence and gratitude. Hence we say, O oh Allah, send countless blessings on the Messenger of Allah, and on his family, and on his companions, and on the righteous believers, and on all prophets and messengers. Alhamdulillah, my dear brothers and sisters, as we have heard, it, is, it only makes a week or so that we have left the blessed month of Ramadan. During the month of Ramadan, as we know, we train ourselves to be great Muslims. We fast all month. We go to the masjid every day. We do not miss any salawat. As a matter of fact, we pray extra for long hours into the night. We recite Al-Qur'an, we give zakah and sadaqah, and some Muslims stop smoking, consuming alcohol, etc. We were polite or nice to others. We make sure to keep our cool and to be patient. Some of us volunteer to clean up at the masjid. Others bought iftar and dinner. Alhamdulillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of our good efforts. But please note, however, that being a good Muslim does not end with the expiration of the blessed month of Ramadan. This year, let us put some of this intensive training to good use, inshallah. The month of Ramadan has come and gone, and inshallah, we would have all benefited from it. Through prayer, through fast, and charity, we would have caused our faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said, Iman of faith increases or decreases. 
we can either cause our faith to grow and become stronger and in the process attain closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or we can become careless and diminish from our faith something like when a person withdraws from his savings by indulging in on Islamic things or being careless with what we have achieved. We all must, or we must all at times be careful and cautious because faith is affected by your thoughts and action. Through the blessed month of Ramadan, by the Allah's grace and mercy, our faith would have increased. However, we must not stop here or become contented. Let us keep building on it. It is in this context you would understand what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us. A'udhu billahi mina shaytanir rajeem La tarukabunna tabakan an tabak You shall surely travel from stage to stage. And this ayah is taken from chapter 84, ayah 19. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has truly blessed the Muslims tremendously, more than one could ever imagine. He has also blessed us more than the previous nation. The Israelites say that they were, or they are the chosen ones. The Christian says that they are the saved ones. And we Muslims are the blessed ones. My dear brothers and sisters, let us build our faith and let it grow. There will be trials and tribulations, and Satan, Shaitan, will continuously attack you. you may, he made a vow to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he would attack you. But always remember that if you put your trust in Allah, he would never let you down. Every human being, or every one of us, should concentrate on the removal of undesirable growths and impurities from our personality. It involves the self-imposition of efforts for eradicating those tendencies that are obstacles in the path of our moral development. In this way, it puts an end to the conflict of good and evil that rages in the human breast. The process for doing is uh, that is called taskia or self-purification. To abide by the requirements of attaining self-purification is one of the most important ingredients for success in both the worlds, physically and spiritually. Brothers and sisters, when we practice, it brings spiritual health, morality, love for Allah, love for the Prophet wasallam, and engaging in zikr, that is to be God conscious all the time. When this is done, one becomes a model of compassion, piety, and truthfulness. This is one of the reasons why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran. A'udhu billahi mina shaitanir rajeen Qad aflaha man tazakka Wa qad qaba man dastaha The meaning of which Truly he succeeds who purifies it And fails who corrupts it and that is the heart. Chapter 91, Ayah 9 and 10. Tazkiyah e nafs is the purification of the physical self by subduing the evil desires that may be plaguing a person. Such desires come from the whispering of shaitan in the breast of men 
and because it is from shaitan, it is evil. In this connection, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the nafs or the physical nafs or the physical desires or the one to commit sins. The result of self-purification is love. The person cultivates love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and for mankind at large. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again reminds us in the Quran, وَمَنْ يُتِئِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ النَّبِئِينَ وَالصِّدِّيقِينَ وَالشُّهَدَاءِ وَالصَّالِحِينَ وَحَسُنَ أُولَٰئِكَ رَفِيقًا The meaning of which all who obey Allah and the Messenger are in company of those on whom is the grace of Allah, of the prophets, the sincere, the witnesses and the righteous. Ah, what a beautiful fellowship. And again, this ayah is taken from chapter 4, ayah 69. My dear brothers and sisters, Tazkiyah or self-purification is a comprehensive program, as in addition, to purification of the body, one also has to focus on the purification of the heart. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says again in the Holy Quran, Qad aflaha man tazakka wa zakarasma rabbihi fasalla. He indeed is successful who purifies himself and remembers the name of his Lord and prays. Chapter 87, Ayah 14 and 15. Brothers and sisters, self-purification is an individual matter and every person will benefit based on his effort. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, وَمَنْ تَزَكَّى فَإِنَّمَا يَتَزَكَّى لِنَفْسِهِ And whoever purifies himself does so for the benefit of his own nafs. Our Holy Prophet Muhammad wasallam used to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, O Allah, grant me inner soul piety and purify it for you are the best purifier you are the guardian and the master my dear brothers and sisters one of the best ways of developing tazkiyah both physically and spiritually is to keep fast as in fasting one has to restrain himself from all the negative things and during fasting in ramadan he engages himself in extra acts of worship, charity, patience, and reading of the Holy Quran. It is now left for the individual to continue practicing tazkiyah in his daily, in his or her daily life, and also as a special act of worship in order to be a successful person. Remember that purification of the personality is very important, so much so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swore in Shura Shams, emphasizing the culminating promise that it is Tazkiyah that plays a significant role in success. And that is وَنَفَسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا قَدْ أَفْلَهَا مَنْ زَكَّاهَا وَقَدْ قَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا By the nafs and the proportion and the order given to it and its enlightenment, truly 
he succeeds who purifies it, and he fails who corrupts it. Again, this is taken from chapter 91, Ayah 7 to 10. My dear brothers and sisters, let us all strive with our wealth, our health, our education, etc., to purify ourselves, because it is never to be forgotten that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us or says more or less, whoever purifies himself does so for his own benefit. Alhamdulillah. The month of Ramadan, you know, we have built, uh, developed so much of our Iman, so much o of our faith, that at the end of Ramadan, what happens? Some of us could feel this. Some of us could feel the spirit, the spirituality, and it continues. My dear brothers and sisters, in the next 70 days or so, we will be celebrating the bigger Eid. The Eid al-Kabir, which will be the Eid of sacrifice. In 70 days or so, with this development of training from the month of Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared us let us not take this train and just throw it to the wind. Let us all try and continue. Continue in building our Iman. Let us all try and continue to be patient. Let us all try and give as much as we can in charity and do as much as we could do in goodness. Let us all try and be good to one another. Let us all try to be, you know, purify this piece of flesh in our, uh, in our body, in our breast, and that is the heart. If this heart is cleansed from malice, cleansed from hatred, cleansed from jealousy, etc., and we put in the opposite of that, which is love, which is caring, which is kindness, then it will make us a better Muslim, a better human being. And this is what will bring us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear brothers and sisters, let us all try in our own way. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow on us everlasting faith, right guidance, and useful knowledge. May he pardon our sins, make best our manners, purify for us our earning, and make us content with what he bestows on us. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness for me and you. Barakallahu lana wa akum fil Qur'an al-Azim wa nafana wa iyaakum bi ayati zikr al-Hakim innahu ta'ala jawarun karimun maliku barul salati. Alhamdulillah. 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 Inafmadahu wa nasta'inahu wa nastaghfiruhu wa nu'minu bi wa natawakalu alayhi wa na'uzu bilahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyati amalina man yahdihillahu falamudillalah وَمَنْ يُرْلِلْ فَلَا هَادِيَ اللَّهِ وَنَشَدُ عَلَىٰ إِلَٰهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَحَدَهُ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ وَنَشَدُ عَنَّا مُحَمَّدًا عَبْدَهُ وَرَسُولُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَمَلَائِكَاتِهِ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ وَمَلَائِكَاتَهُ يُسَلُّونَ عَلَىٰ النَّبِيِّ Ya ayyuhallazina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala ali muhammadin bi adadi man salla wa sam Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala ali muhammadin 
biadari man qada wa qam wa salli ala jamil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala kulli malaikatil muqarrabin wa ala ibadillahi salihin bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin ibadallah Inna Allah ya'muru bil adli wal ihsan wa ita'i zil qurba wa yanha 'anil fakhsha'i wal munkar wal baq ya izukum la'allakum tazakkarun wa la zikrullah ta'ala awla wa awla wa a'azzu wa ajallu wa atammu wa aham wa akbar aqim as-salah بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر